If you suspect your partner is cheating, let's say you see in their phone that they use abbreviations instead of real names for phone numbers, or they're giving you feelings because they're starting to use different cologne, they're working out, they're dressing up when they go to work. Those are all very um, correlated with someone who is not being faithful to you. However, those behaviors alone are, cannot be trusted. So the best way to know is to sit down with them and ask them face to face with no interruptions and be very direct. Are you cheating on me? Is there someone else? When people are lying, they have a very hard time lying when they're asked directly like that. And you'll watch them and they'll squirm or they'll make different different body language. They may evade or they may bring up something in the past that you did. These are all resembling the fact that the person is not being completely honest. If your gut follows that up with being very uneasy and you see other suspicious behaviors, I know friends will many times try to tell you, and good sitcoms are made out of this, they'll say, throw the guy out. Throw the woman to the curb. She's no good. Don't do that. Don't do that until you have talked to legal counsel to make sure that you will be cared for in the case of a divorce and that you will have enough money to raise your children in a safe place. And secondly, you want to talk to a therapist. You want to talk to a therapist because divorce is very emotional. It's crippling sometimes. It's confusing. You feel numb. You feel betrayed. You feel angry. You feel resentful. You feel lost. And a therapist is going to help guide you through that as well as your children. And if you have children, remember they are your top priority because this isn't only breaking up the love of your life. It's breaking up their security and their home. Always make sure that somebody's bad decision, and cheating is a very bad decision, it's a desperate decision. Don't let that bring you down or destroy your life. Instead of reacting harshly or quickly, think about what you're doing and always put your needs and your children's needs at the top. And that's going to help you keep your priority going through this very messy situation. Good luck with that.